Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma, also known as Made in the Moment. And today I'm going to be taking you through a week in my life, trying to finish some of my works in progress. Basically last week, last Sunday, I took out all of my works in progress. I put it on my couch and then I just realized that I have too many projects going on. I think ideally I would be like a two to four project person, but when I counted all the projects that I had, I had 11. 11 projects that are like pretty much actively taking up space in my brain of me wanting to work on them. So I decided to make this video and take you along for me to try and finish as many of them as possible. And now that I have finished some projects, I do need to wash them. And that is why Earth Breeze is the sponsor of this week's video. So I thrifted this hoodie as a template for my big granny square hoodie. Before Earth Breeze, I would literally lug my giant laundry detergent jugs with me to the laundromat after every thrift trip. But I've been super happy with the switch to Earth Breeze because it's like just one less thing to carry with me when I go and one less thing to worry about. Ooh, that's nice, that's nice. Earth Breeze makes a revolutionary liquidless laundry detergent that looks like a dryer sheet. The eco sheets were designed to make life a little bit easier. The packaging is just this lightweight cardboard envelope, which makes storage really easy. Like this is my laundry detergent for 60 loads, which obviously makes storage easier in my apartment, but it's also really nice when I travel. I can just like slide this into my suitcase and bring as many of these as I want. When I travel, I like to pack a carry-on and then whenever I go somewhere, do laundry there. So it's nice to have laundry detergent on hand and not have to like buy it when I go places. Each eco sheet also dissolves 100% in any wash cycle, hot or cold, and is tough on stains and odors, meaning you still get a powerful clean every time. I'm pretty picky about my laundry detergent. I don't like it to be too scented or too strong, but I like it to have sort of a pleasant, clean aroma. The eco sheets hit that perfect spot for me and they're hypoallergenic and dermatologist tested. If you wanna try Earth Breeze for yourself, go to earthbreeze.com slash in the moment for 40% off your subscription. There's no measuring, no mess, no heavy plastic jugs. Just add a sheet to your load. That is earthbreeze.com slash in the moment for 40% off. Thank you Earth Breeze for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. <laughs> Okay, so I tried several angles and this is the one that I think best encapsulates the degree of uh, the situation that I've gotten myself into. So let's go through them all. I wrote down a little list of the things that I wanna work on and I'm gonna bring the camera closer to me because this is a ridiculous angle. Okay, so first on my list is the duck vest. This one is painfully close to being done. I have to seam up the sides, add ribbing, and then weave in the ends. Should take me a couple hours. This one will be finished. This one has to be finished by next week. Not because of any reason, just because I've been working on this forever and I can't finish it and I need to. So duck vest will be finished this week. Next project that I am so close to finishing, this pigeon chart. I'm working on some new animal charts. This one is probably 15 rows from the end. Another one where it's like, okay, this will take me a couple hours at most. This must be finished. I'm trying not to feel guilty because it's supposed to be fun. This is supposed to be fun, right? Don't bully me for this. If you follow me on TikTok, then you, you saw me talking about this very confidently a month ago saying, oh, I'll finish the back panel on my, on my flight. I'll finish the back panel. I'm making a vest of these two, the two houses from Santa Monica. You'll see it more at another time. This is how much of the back panel I have finished, but I'm running low on white yarn. And then I also was like, boring. It's kind of boring. And I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna unravel this. I think I'm gonna frog it again. This is already like my fourth or maybe third attempt at a, a back panel for this vest. And I think what I'm gonna do is add checkers in the middle portion of it sort of going up the back, but I haven't had the heart to unravel this, but I think, I think I just need to unravel it. And then once it's unraveled, I'll feel better about working on it again. Okay, this one's kind of embarrassing also, but this is something that I should just probably do right now. I made this bunny balaclava and I'll put it on, but don't look at my hair. I just gave myself a haircut and my hair is wet and looks weird. So that's why I'm wearing this hat, but now I'm gonna wear this instead. Don't look. Oh, just on a pin. Okay, made this last winter and I made these flowers to sew onto the ears. This is Alexandria Massey's bunny balaclava pattern. And I never, I just, I made all of these flowers. I even weaved in the ends and I just never sewed them on. So this has been sitting in my whip basket for so long. That ends this week. Next 
I'm making a granny square project. I don't think I've shown this yet, really, anywhere. I have all these squares too. I'll tell you more about this as we go on. I probably won't finish this this week, but my goal is to make 10 more squares, weave in all the ends, attach them to this panel that I already have, and go from there. I have a sort of soft deadline for this near the end of October that I would really like to finish it by. So we're gonna make some progress on it this week. This on fire vest, which I stopped working on because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do for the the rest of the panel if I wanted to have, like what I wanted to do with the colors basically. But again, once I just get past this hump, it'll be fine and then I can work on it again. Uh, not expecting to make a ton of progress on this this week, but just wanna sort of get it back in the rotation and back on my radar. Uh, randomly one day, instead of working on any of the other projects that I have, I started a granny square pillowcase, which is turning out pretty cool. None of the ends are woven in, but I have a pillow that is caseless and I need a case, a pillowcase for it. So this is what we got. It's getting pretty close to being done. I think I need to order a zipper for it because I want to have the pillowcase be removable. And when I say it's close to being done, I mean one panel. I'm still gonna have to make the other one, but we'll get there when we get there. It's just with some scrap yarn. I also could just keep going and make it a blanket, but I probably won't do that. I'm gonna switch back to the other hats, it's getting too warm. Now, this one is the project that made me realize I needed to make this video because I got home last night from hanging out with a friend. And again, instead of working on any of these projects, I started a tapestry for my kitchen, which is gonna be sick, by the way. This is the Cosmic Rose Tapestry pattern by Ty Bailey. It's so cool. Yeah, I spent, well, I spent 45 minutes working on it last night and then I realized I read the chart wrong and I had to rip back to like the third row. <laughs> and then I spent probably another 45 minutes on it this morning, listening to Brittany Broski's podcast. What else do we got? <sighs> this one's another one where I'm like, why didn't I just finish it? There's no, I don't even have a reason. I have yarn for it. I just got this far and then was like, okay, I'm done. I've had enough, time to move on. Oh, this one, these socks I worked on last summer, I think. Whenever I go visit my friends in Chicago, I bring a pair of socks with me because I like working on socks on the plane. And I know that I won't finish the project while I'm traveling, but basically this is as far as I got on the socks while I was traveling and then I stopped. I stopped and I'm so close to the end. I even did the whole heel, which thank God, because I wouldn't do that now. I wouldn't be able to pick back up and do, I don't even remember what, oh no, I do know what pattern I'm following. It's Charlotte Stone's Summer Meadows socks. Just gotta knit like a couple more inches and then do the toe. And then, ooh, this yellow raglan project that I am knitting to maybe be a Halloween costume with Jada. And this is something that I just, I started when I was FaceTiming Jada and Alexandria a couple days ago and got to this point and then I stopped. But that's, that's all. <laughs> There's definitely like four or five projects that I'm, I'm close enough to finishing where if I just sat down for a day and worked on them and made myself keep going on each one until I was finished, then I would finish them and it would be fine. I'll bring you through the week. I'll bring you through me working on them. And we're gonna start with the ones that are closest to being done first so that I can get a sense of accomplishment. And I won't, I will not start any new projects this week. Okay, update. It is Tuesday morning and I wanna show you what I have worked on so far and then just sort of go through what my plans for today, what I'm gonna work on are. So I haven't finished anything yet because I've still been bouncing around projects, but I am casting off the second ribbing, second side of ribbing on the duck vest. This is like a lot further than the last time I showed you, I think the neckline ribbing looks great. So what I have left to do on this is cast off genuinely six stitches, which I'm gonna do now. And then I have to weave in the ends and block it, sew my tag on, take some pictures, and then send it out. I have these ends to weave in. I showed this to a room full of knitters the other day and they all gasped, so that's good. Next thing I've been working on is pigeon chart. You know, yesterday I thought his head was too small, but now I'm looking at it and maybe it's fine. Huh, 
Maybe it's funny that his head is so small. But anyway, this is what I've done. And next is this. I sewed flowers onto one side. Um, I still have these to sew on, but I think I'm gonna sit here and do that right now. Also, it's Alexandria's birthday today as I'm wearing these. So happy birthday, Alex. It's not gonna be her birthday when I post this. Also, she just got a Wikipedia page. So go Google Alexandria Massey and look at her Wikipedia page. I think that's so sick. Plan for today is to sew these on, weave in the ends on the duck vest and make some granny squares for my granny square project. I vacuumed, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, Nick, no shoes in the house. No shoes. In the house. <laughs> oh, I gotta show my feet too. I always stand in first position when I <laughs> record from up here. <laughs> Same thing, all the time. Right, it's literally, that's just a, a case of personal taste. Exactly, like, I'm like, you don't have to like it, it's not for you. Like, that's kind of like being like, I'm so concerned because I'm like, is there an emergency? Right. Like, I'm so concerned because someone's trying to get a hold of me, and it's my Instagram, like, I can't, like, I'm not saying that's just, like, I should see this, I'm like, okay. I forgot to give you all a very important update. Excuse my hair, I'm having a bad hair day, but I have to last minute make a pigeon vest for something important. At the time I was recording, I was trying to be like subtle and secretive because I thought I should, but the vest was for a really last minute request for Emma Chamberlain's stylist. They sent me an email, gave me like no details about what it was about and then asked for the vest. I made it. Um, I saw that one of my mutuals was also making one. So I don't know like what they ended up using but they did mail it back to me already. So now you know, I'm being like vague and cryptic in this because I wasn't sure if I should say or not, but I don't know. I don't feel the need to keep it a secret because they didn't ask me to sign an NDA or anything. They just asked me to send something and I sent it and they sent it back. So I did, I did start another project, but I have a good reason. I do actually have to finish this by Monday. It's Wednesday now. Because I have a tight deadline, this like doesn't even really count as a new project because I know that I will finish it. It is gonna put a little bit of a hitch in my other project plans and how much I thought I was gonna get done with those this week, but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. And here's what we got so far. It's looking pretty good. This is probably the best color work chart I have ever made, which is great. So update, it is Friday and this is what we've got so far. And I made this last night in the Uber to a trivia night and then a little bit at the trivia night. I'm doing it like this because I didn't wanna bring all of my yarn with me to trivia. I got a new couch, yay. Um, it is gonna go here, but someone is gonna come and pick this couch up today, one of my friends. Okay, my hair has been looking kind of rough recently, so these be nice, but but here's, <laughs> here's what it's looking like. It's looking so good. Oh my God, it's looking amazing. It's Friday at 3.20 p.m. I'm actually making way more progress on this than I thought I would by this point. I need to ship this out on Monday. So I have most of tomorrow and all of Sunday to work on this. I think I'm gonna have to take a break soon, rest my wrists, give them a little stretch, go get some coffee. It's raining outside. I don't know what's going on with my hair. My hair has been looking kind of bad. The back looks really bad. I, like it's so bad, I can't even show you. I have to wear a hat when I go outside. This is why you don't bleach your hair at home, guys. Don't, don't do what I did. I've been listening to Guts more. Here's my song ranking from last week or whenever I posted that. And then I, I'll make a new tier list and put it on the screen right now. And I think a lot of people disagree with my takes and that's fine because tier lists are just opinions and I'm just ranking them. I'm not saying any of them are good or bad. I'm just saying which ones I like, but go ahead and tell me I'm wrong. Do it. Another update. It literally looks so good. Oh my God. Oh my God. I really have done myself this time. Like I really have. This is sort of where I want it to be. Like I don't want it too low, but I also don't want the head like right in the armpit. Or maybe we do this so it's a little higher. I can't decide. I think, I think this is where I want it to be situated. I'm gonna just start on the neckline right away, I think. I actually just genuinely am blown away. Like I, I've outdone myself here, I really have. Okay, so I want the neckline to start I think here and then, or maybe even here and then curve up like this. 
So I'm gonna put some little stitch markers in here. I'm trying to film something and I'm like, oh, I should put a cute stitch marker in here. I can only find like mismatched ones. So here's a Christmas mitten stitch marker. Can you see it? And then just here's, here's just a little plastic one. Boring. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, this is working. It's too bad having two couches is completely impractical because I kind of like this setup where I have the, the plant behind my couch, but it just like doesn't make any sense for the room to be set up like this normally. Okay, update. It is Saturday night. I seamed the panels together, knit some ribbing onto the neckline and the this side. Currently got some needles attached and I'm trying to decide if I wanna add ribbing on the bottom. It's kind of the perfect length, but I do think it needs ribbing to finish off the bottom. I think just like a little. Where is my phone? I'm texting the experts, Alex and Jada. They always know what to do. All right, we'll see what they say. And in the meantime, I will finish picking up the stitches on this sleeve. I don't know why I decided I had to stop right now <laughs> and try it on. I think the fit turned out perfectly, like the, where the decreases hit, the length, and whether she wears it or not, I, I don't even care as long as they send it back to me because I wanna wear this. I wanna wear this, it's so cool. All right, so here is the update. It is Sunday again. Let's start out in order of what I finished. So the first thing I finished this week was finally this duck sweater vest. If you're on TikTok, you might have seen the federal duck stamp competition videos that Kira makes. They do like paintings and submit for the federal duck stamp competition. And when I first started posting about this vest, people were tagging them in my video, like, oh my God, Kira would love this sweater vest. And I finally got around to making this for them. And we're gonna do a little art trade. So they're gonna send me some stuff. I am really excited to see what they send and I'm super excited for them to get this. I'm just waiting for it to fully dry because I don't really have a good blocking setup. I need to figure out something better because right now I just dry stuff on towels and that takes a while because then the towel gets wet and then it stays wet and then everything is just wet. That's this. I have been working on this for months. I was hoping to get this finished by like the end of June. And you know, I did finish it by the end of September. So, you know, we do what we can. Uh, next thing I finished was I sewed the flowers on to this balaclava finally. And here it is. I, it looked good already before, but it looks so much better. I think this looks really cute. And I don't know exactly like what to wear this for. I actually think this looks really good in this room. So I wanna get a kind of head display thing so that I can put it somewhere in here. I don't really have a good flat surface, but I have some wall space that maybe I'll mount a shelf on and display this because it's really cool. And I would like people to see it when they come into my home because it's really, it's very cool. And I don't really have too much fiber art stuff up on the walls in here yet, so. This turned out great. Can't believe it took me so long to just sew the flowers on. Okay, and my goal for this granny square project was to make 10 squares and then weave in all the ends. And I didn't quite do that. I think I made like four squares maybe or five, but I did connect all of the squares that I have to each other sort of. So I have more of an idea of like how much I have accomplished. Oh, wrong way. So this is part of the back panel. I'm definitely gonna add more to the sides. It's not quite as wide as I want it to be but I don't know if I want it a whole other square wider. <laughs> so I'm sort of, I'm deciding on that. I need to make another half square for this side. And then I do need to weave in the ends on a couple of the squares. And then I also made this, which will be part of the front panel. 
I sent progress pictures of this to the person I'm making it for and they are very excited about it. But the reason that I didn't finish as many other projects as I wanted to is because I actually started and finished a whole entire other project. I made this pigeon vest. I just have to add some ribbing to the bottom. I think like it's kind of the perfect length already, but I think it does need just like maybe five to eight rows of ribbing on the bottom. I don't know if you can see this very well, but I did do a knit ribbing on a crochet background. I made this for a uh, celebrity stylist request and we'll see what happens with it. I already have seen at least one other person who's making something and, and what they're making looks really cool. So we'll see if they choose this, but if not, oh well. I made it and I've been, I need to make one of these anyway for something else. So, you know, kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> oh my God. All of the other projects that I started, ha I didn't make any progress on this week because of the pigeon vest. Very exciting. This really helped me motivate myself to make the projects. And I don't know, let me know if it was fun to come along with me on my project process. Thanks for watching. If you got all the way to the end, this is a little bit different than some of my other videos, but hopefully it was fun. And yeah, I think that's it. Like the video if you liked the video. Comment and let me know how many works in progress you have right now. And tell me which project you want me to finish next. House vest is like top of my list as soon as I finish the granny square cardigan. Granny square, granny square hoodie. Cause I have to finish that by October 20th to give it to the person. I'm giving you too much information. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day. Thank you to Tegan, Jolie, Ava, Scout, Jade M and Janela.